We're in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at the boardwalk. We're gonna give you a tour of the main centralized section of the boardwalk with all of the attractions and everything it has to offer. And we're also gonna go over to Ocean Boulevard and cover the attractions on that side. Hi, I'm Carmen. We hope you enjoy this walk. And if you do, we hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Beautiful views, beautiful day today. So we just passed the oceanfront bar and grill and then you've got Dirty Don's Oyster Bar and Grill. And as you'll see, a lot of these places have outdoor seating. And then here's the Fun Plaza. This is a really large arcade and they are open during warmer days. They will have these big garage doors open sometimes. So it's kind of open air and you can look out here at this gorgeous view while you're playing video games and arcade games. There's an ice cream shop and then we've got the Boardwalk Paradise General Store, which is a decent sized gift shop. We've got the sky wall at the end going, we'll get a closer view. And the Boardwalk also has these really nice areas where you can sit and they're semi-shaded. I mean, I wouldn't call that like full shade, uh, but it does give you a nice little area to sit and enjoy uh, the ocean. And you also have all of these public beach access where you can walk down to the beach. Your sweet treats, another ice cream shop. It looks like they have smoothies also. Love this ice cream shaped table. It's cute, like the ice cream cones. Here's another arcade, Family Entertainment. Sounds like they're having fun. And then here's Abraham's Heroes. How do you say that word, by the way? Here's Hurricane's Daiquiri Bar and New York style pizza. And then right up here is the Gay Dolphin Gift Cove, and that is an iconic part of Myrtle Beach. We'll see it from the street side as well. And then you may not know this, but there's a little secret uh, sort of place to take an Instagram photo or whatever you might like right here at Myrtle Beach. And it's right next to the Gay Dolphin. And this goes through to Ocean Boulevard. So you can come from either side if you want to get yourself a selfie over here. The Gay Dolphin is a multi-level gift shop. It is probably the biggest gift shop in Myrtle Beach. And it's definitely interesting. I would highly recommend going if you've never been. And coming up, we've got another gift shop. This is the Boardwalk Beachwear. And when it's a little warmer, you'll see a lot of people sitting here at Mo Moons. They have food and beverages. Let's come up here. Here's one of these nice areas. I mentioned that, you know, certain times of the day, you've got a little bit of shade. Got a helicopter tour overhead. Can't see it, but I can hear it. So you get these really gorgeous views. We interrupt this video to bring you breaking news. Just since we recorded this video, the city of Myrtle Beach has announced they will be refurbishing the boardwalk in its entirety beginning March 1st, and they said that the work will last well into the summer and possibly beyond. The good news is it does not look like businesses will have to close and they will be doing it in small sections so that the boardwalk will not close down during the refurbishment. Now back to the video. And you can see two piers from here. That is Second Avenue Pier and that's the Wicked Tuna restaurant at the end of that. And then this is 14th Pier right up here. And also they do have little historical informational signs in these little cutout areas that jut out. And then coming up here, of course you see the sky wheel and there's the land shark bar and grill. But also this is Plyler Park and they do have entertainment certain times of the year on this little stage that's right up here. And it's a really beautiful park and they've got a really beautiful dolphin statue in the center. You can see the statue from the backside, but there's, there's a beautiful view from that statue looking out here towards the ocean. They really, really did a nice job with the placement. And then we're going to cut over to Ocean Boulevard. So the boardwalk itself is about 1.7 miles long. So there's a lot more to the boardwalk than we're showing today. It's just that it's mostly hotels. Uh, there are a few restaurants and other things on the boardwalk, 
but this is the centralized area that I think most people think of as the main part of the boardwalk. So here we've got some more gift shops, Oceanware gift shop, and good vibes. And then straight ahead, this is Ocean Boulevard. And I did stand corrected. Some of you let me know. I mentioned there's no public restroom. There is a public restroom over here on Ocean Boulevard uh, that I did not know about. So let's go and take a look at that. Across the way, we've got a zombie encounter. And look at that sky wheel. And if you haven't ridden the sky wheel, we definitely recommend that. We've done it a few times and it is a lot of fun. It's really, really great. Air conditioned cabins, this time of the year, that's not as important, but sometimes of the year it's very important. And here's that view of Plyler Park with the statue. You got the stage and then you've got the oceans, gorgeous. So we are literally right under the sky wheel, as you can see, and right across from Landshark Bar and Grill. And there are the public restrooms. I wanted to come down here just to show you those, that they do exist and I didn't know that they were here. So now we're gonna turn around and go back the other way because there's a lot of attractions and fun things to do on Ocean Boulevard that are directly adjacent to this main boardwalk area. Over there we've got Pizza Kitchen. Looks like maybe a salon and more gift shops. There's lots of gift shops in this area, obviously. So if you enjoy shopping for souvenirs, this is definitely a good place to do it. And if you look at this sort of fence right here, this is the first of what they're planning to put all up and down Ocean Boulevard. And so let us know what you think in the comments. Do you think that's gonna look nice? Do you think it's gonna look odd? But it's instead of, they normally put those temporary barriers up, which are definitely not attractive. So it's to stay up year round and look a whole lot nicer uh, than what they normally put up. So let us know what you think about that in the comments. So now we're back to that zombie encounter. And over here is Love Sugar. I love sugar, I should say. And we got some really loud music that I'm gonna talk over because if you're not familiar, YouTube gives you issues with background music, sadly. So we got more gift shops. And then over here is the Ripley's 5D Theater. And we have done that, it was interesting. It's almost like an amusement park ride. It, it, it's really uh, jostles you around a lot and they have Ripley's Haunted Adventure. And these are all part of Ripley's. Got the Hi-Fi Coffee Bar, Mad Myrtle's Ice Creamery. And now we're up to the Gay Dolphin. So this is the tower that you see from the street side. You used to be able to walk up some stairs in there, but I don't think they let you do that anymore for safety reasons. Oh, actually there's a kid on the stairs. So I guess you can still walk on them at least to a point. Then there's the Ripley's Mirror Maze. We've done that as well. And that is fun. And it, we were, it was actually f more fun than we expected. We thought it would be like pretty small and easy and it was actually pretty challenging. So that was cool. So here's that cut through that I showed you from the other direction. So if you wanna go down and get a selfie in front of that sign, that's where you do it. Pizza kitchen on the other side. And over here's more gift shops. And so basically on this side, you're seeing mostly entrances to things that you can get to on the other side as well. But then you've got a few things that are unique to this side that are just like this sort of cotton candy right here. You wouldn't see that on the other side, obviously, and some of these smaller gift shops. More gift shops, there's the t-shirt shop across the street. Burger Paradise. There's another entrance for the Boardwalk Paradise General Store. And now we're to the other side of the Fun Plaza right here, which is that arcade. It does go all the way through to the street side. Got henna tattoos and hair wraps. Bargain Beachwear Store. Old Timey Photo. We actually get a lot of questions about where you can get these. So here's a location for Old Timey Photo. 
And then over here is Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium. We do have a video on that. I will link that in the description below. It's pretty interesting if you've never been. It's a good one for the whole family, it's family friendly. And then here's Peach's Corner. This is iconic. It's actually been here longer than the city of Myrtle Beach. Um, it's a eatery that's really close to the beach and the boardwalk. It is street side though, it's not ocean facing side. And so it's definitely a, a part of history. So over here, this is where the pavilion used to be. If you hear people talk about the pavilion, now it's a field and there is a zip line adventure, uh, but that used to be an amusement park and we miss it. If you miss it, leave us a comment and let us know. And then over here, you've got the volleyball courts and you can see some people enjoying some volleyball today. Sometimes they have tournaments here as well. Then we've got the boardwalk gift shop, Duffy's, the Bowery, the boardwalk coffee house. And then as you can see, we are back around to the oceanfront bar and grill in this gorgeous ocean. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.